You can drag and drop invoices and have this simple AI system automatically analyze them, store them, and extract key data straight into your database. Let me show you this in action. I'm gonna drag and drop an invoice into Telegram and then hit send. And as soon as I do that, the workflow kicks off. First, it downloads a file and then uploads it to a specific folder in our Google Drive. Then Google Gemini analyzes the file and uses OCR to extract the text. The AI agent then takes that text, extracts the key data points, and saves them to our OCR invoices database. As you can see, the data points for that invoice were uploaded to our Google Sheet. And right after that, the agent summarizes the invoice and sends us a confirmation back in Telegram with a direct link to the uploaded invoice in our Google Drive. Here it is in case we need to reference it in the future. So anytime I get an invoice, I simply drag and drop it into Telegram and thanks to this workflow, they're stored and organized nicely in my Google Drive and I have this database to run analytics on the key data points. Up next, we're gonna walk through the entire workflow node by node to see exactly how it's working. As always, I'll be giving you all the resources you need to set the system up for completely free. I'll show you how to do all that towards the end of the video. All right, let's dive into what's actually happening inside the workflow. This first node here is a Telegram trigger node, and this fires off the workflow anytime we send a message in this chat right here. Once the workflow is triggered, each node will go off one by one. So this first node checks whether that incoming message contains a file. That could be a PDF or an image. If a file is detected, it gets downloaded by this node. That downloaded file then gets passed to two different nodes in parallel. The first node uploads the file to a specific folder in our Google Drive. The second node sends the file to Google Gemini for OCR, which means it'll analyze the invoice and extract all of the text from it. Next, this merge node waits for both of those steps to finish before sending the extracted invoice text into this AI agent. The agent is powered by OpenAI GPT and is specifically instructed to pull out the key data points from the invoice text. It's also instructed to use this Google Sheets tool to save those structured data points directly to our invoice database. So every invoice we upload to Telegram ends up logged here automatically, which is very, very convenient. Finally, the AI agent generates a short summary of the invoice and sends it back to us in Telegram, along with a direct link to the file in our Google Drive. So as you can see, the summary includes the invoice from Horizon Web Studio. If we look over here, Horizon Web Studio lines up. Invoice number HWS, that lines up as well. The total amount due is 534. Let's check the total amount. There it is, that lines up. The payment is due by December 24th, 2025. And there it is. So as you can tell, it's extremely accurate and Google Gemini does a great job at extracting all of that text from the document and our GPT model does a great job at finding all those key data points. Now let's walk through a live run of the workflow and we'll watch the data move from node to node to see how it all works. I'm gonna be using the same example invoice that I used in the demo. So I'm gonna go into the Telegram trigger, click execute step. Then I'll drag in that invoice into Telegram, click send. And right away, we get the outputted message data in this Telegram node. What's important here is the document data. It contains the file name, the MIME type, which is PDF, the thumbnail, and most importantly, the file ID. If we were to just have sent a text message instead of a file here in Telegram, there would be no document data in this output. So this next step, this if node, is just checking if that document data exists which guarantees that the incoming message contains a file instead of just a text message. In the case that it is not a file, it'll go down the false branch and we use this telegram send message node to send a message back in the chat saying, please send an invoice file. And so for the chat ID, we're just dragging in the chat ID coming from the telegram output data. And that will guarantee that this message returns back to the same chat instance. Then in the case that the document data does exist, which in this case it does, it goes down the true branch and our data moves into the get file node from Telegram. This node will essentially download that file from Telegram. Now what we're doing in here is taking that file ID coming from the document data, which is the file ID of the invoice, and then passing that in as the file ID that we want to download. So all I did was found this file ID in the input, dragged it into this file ID field, and then when we execute the step, the output is this container that represents our downloaded file in the form of binary. Don't worry about what binary is, just worry about why it needs to be binary. It needs to be binary because that's how we can take this file and do certain things with it within NAN. For example, for us to be able to upload this file to Google Drive and send it to Gemini for processing, it needs to be in the binary format. As you can see, we're passing that binary file into both of these nodes. So let's take a look at each one. 
This Google Drive node is configured to upload that incoming file to a specific folder in our Google Drive. So first of all, you'll need to set up your Google account credentials in order to authenticate NAN with your Google account. I have a video going in depth on how to do this that I'll link right here. So go watch that and then come back if you need to. Since we want to be organized and have all of our invoices in one place within our Google Drive, I went ahead and created a brand new folder called Uploaded Invoices, and I recommend that you do the same. Once you have that folder created in your own Google Drive, you can then select that folder from this list under Parent Folder so that anytime you upload a file using this node, it'll go directly into this folder. Finally, as for the name of the file, what we're doing is grabbing the current date time and then formatting it so it reads off as the month, day, and year and closed in brackets, invoice, and then we pass in that original file name within the parentheses. Of course, you can change this to however you want it to be named, but this is how I like to do it. So once I execute this step, we get a brand new file in our drive with that file name, and the output of the node gives us a bunch of data about that uploaded file, including the link that we can use to view it, which we're gonna use later on within our AI agent. Here's the link, WebView link. So let's copy it, paste it, and here is our invoice file. Okay, now let's see what's happening in the Google Gemini node. So again, our downloaded file is being sent into this node, and then the file is going to be sent to Google Gemini and analyzed by whatever AI model that we select from this list. Again, you'll need to connect a credential for authentication. I'll show you exactly how to do that a bit later in the video. For the resource, we're choosing document, the operation, analyze document, and then for the model, we're choosing any model from this list here. And today we're just going with Gemini 2.5 Flash because it's fast and cheap. Also, we're not doing anything too complex. All it needs to do is some OCR and extract text from that file. But if we were processing text that was written down with handwriting, for example, you might wanna go with a more powerful model like a Gemini 3 Pro. Then since this model is not only a file analyzer, but also a GPT model that you can chat with, we can send in some instructions here in the text input field. So we're just simply saying extract all the important fields from this document. Finally, the input type is binary file because like I said, our invoice file was downloaded into NAN as a binary file type. When this finishes up, it outputs a bunch of raw text. And if you look closely, you can see that it's kind of organized the different pieces of data. These double asterisks here around words means that the words are meant to be bold. So it's saying that the invoice date is December 16th, 2025. The due date is December 24th, 2025. And so we're gonna pass this text into an AI agent so that it can really extract these key data points into real structured data. This next node before our AI agent is a merge node. And what it's used for is waiting for all the inputs to complete before moving the data forward. What I mean by that is it's gonna wait for the upload file and analyze document nodes to complete before combining their output data and sending it to the AI agent. So if we execute this merge node independently, as you can see, it's gonna wait for both of these to finish up. And there we go. The output is our combined data from that Google Drive node, along with the output from our Gemini node. As you can see, here is that text. For this to work, just make sure the mode is combined, the combined by is position, and the number of inputs is obviously two. All of that output data is being passed into this AI agent. We're passing in the extracted text from Google Gemini into the user prompt field. And then down here, we're defining a system message, which is the instructions for our agent. If I open this up into a bigger view, as you can see, it's a really simple system prompt. We have an overview going over the agent's role and what it's meant to do. And then a section for the output, so how it should structure the output that we're gonna send back as a message in Telegram. Overview. You are a professional invoice assistant whose role is to take the output from an analyzed invoice and save its key data points to a Google Sheet. Output. Please output a friendly response to the user who uploaded the invoice. Tell them the invoice has been successfully uploaded and provide some key details about the invoice. At the end of the message, give them the link to the uploaded file in their Google Drive. So like I said earlier, we're telling the agent what that Google Drive link is so it can include it in the message in Telegram. As for the model connected to this AI agent, which is kind of like the brain of the agent, we're using OpenAI's GPT 4.1 Mini, which is a very fast and cheap model that is smart enough to extract those key data points and use tools. Of course, you'll need to connect your OpenAI credentials 
for authentication. I'll show you exactly how to do that a bit later on. Then speaking of tools, we give the agent access to our Google Sheets database so that I can save those key data points. So in this Google Sheets tool, we've named it Add Invoice to Sheet so that the agent knows exactly what the tool does. The resource is Sheet Within Document. The operation is Append Row. And then this list under Document displays all the sheets within our Google Drive. So just make sure to make a copy of this sheet here and then select it from this list. And of course, I'll leave a link somewhere so that you can copy this template easily. Anyway, down here, we're mapping the columns manually. And there's a little button on the right side of the inputs that'll make it so the AI decides what these values should be. So this is pretty awesome. It makes it really simple for us because we don't have to set up any nodes that manually extract the information. The agent will do it all for us. We've got the invoice number, the vendor, total amount, due date, billing address, and the link to the invoice that was uploaded to Google Drive earlier. After the agent finishes updating the database, it'll output that summary that we asked it to make. Let's watch it. So first it thinks, then it uses that tool to add the invoice to the sheet. It uses the brain again to process that summary, and then it outputs that summary which we then send to the send message node for Telegram. So this node is gonna target the same chat by passing in that chat ID from the Telegram trigger node, and then we pass in that AI agent summary as the text. Finally, I added a couple more additional fields here. The NAN attribution I set to false, and then the parse mode I set to HTML. So when we execute this step, the message should be sent. There it is. The invoice from Horizon Web Studio has been successfully uploaded. Here are some key details. Then we get that Google Drive link. There we go. All right, guys, that is the entire build. Now let me show you how to download this workflow for completely free and get it up and running in like two minutes. There's gonna be a link in the description to join this community here. It's where I organize and upload all of the free resources from my YouTube videos. So what you're gonna do once you've joined is go to the classroom tab, click NAN templates, find the template you're looking for from the sidebar, click on the associated post, and then here is where you'll find the .json files, which are the NAN templates. You'll click it to download, then back in NAN, you can click these three dots up top after creating a brand new workflow, and then click import from file and select that .json file, and you'll be ready to go with that workflow. As for setting up the services, I've just added this little setup guide. So first, copy the sheet. So go to the sheet, click file, then make a copy. And then from this drop down here, you'll want to select that file. Second, create a uploaded invoices folder in Drive, and then from this node, you'll select that from the list right here under parent folder. Third, create a Google credential, and then enable the Google Drive and Sheet APIs within your Google Cloud account. So I have a tutorial on how to do this right here. Four, create Google Gemini credentials. So go to this link, create a new account, or log into your existing one, and then click create API key. Then in the Google Gemini node, you'll click create new credential, and paste that API key right here and click save. Fifth, create an OpenAI credential. So go to this link after creating an OpenAI account and under API keys, you'll click create new, new secret key and then you'll copy that API key, click create new credential under OpenAI and paste that API key right here and click save. So that's it for the video guys. I hope this helped and inspired you to play around and or use this workflow for yourself. There's definitely ways to improve this and expand it. For example, instead of Telegram, you could hook up a Slack trigger or even hook it up to your business email to start processing incoming invoices that way. If you found this helpful and enjoyed, then please leave a like on the video. It helps the channel out a ton and I really want to grow this channel with you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until the end, I'll see you in the next one.